Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to my video today. It's about Dragon Ball Xenoverse, as you've probably gathered. Uh, on the main screen is, well, me trying to do a video and connecting into the game and everything to be able to do one. Uh, unsuccessfully, might I add, so down below I've just put some gameplay footage for you to observe, if you wish. Um, so yeah, I tried to log in earlier to just play on the game. I've been playing on it fine the night before. And I kept getting the error that it couldn't connect to the server, even though I went, I tried both modes to go on single player login and to go on the multiplayer login as well. Now, the problem is, or the easy answer to the problem is, quite frankly, that the servers aren't, uh, well, they're at full capacity, quite frankly, all the time. Now, somehow, this has come as a huge surprise uh, to Bandai. And. Yeah, they've just not been prepared or ready for the amount of people that want to play this game, quite frankly. Which I find really surprising, because it's one of the first Dragon Ball games we've had on PC. It's definitely the first Dragon Ball game we've had on Steam. And it appeals to such a huge amount of people. Loads of people I know have seen it, or at least heard of, uh, Dragon Ball. And the fact that, you know, this is a new experience that covers, well, as far as I'm aware, it covers everything throughout the main storyline of Dragon Ball Z and, and beyond, of course, and allows you to make your own character and to enter that in a new storyline they've devised. I mean, it is for us to go and, you know, replay all the historical Dragon Ball Z battles, the storyline is as you would expect. Um, there's rifts in time, or someone is interfering with time and changing it, changing the events, and we have to go back and basically make sure the good guys win, which, you know, is, is fair enough. Um, I'm just, like I said, I am surprised that they hadn't sorted out the servers. It's not really, it's not good enough. I mean, I was expecting a lot of people to play. I do have some problems with the game, and I am going to do a full review on it, but yeah. If you can't get on, that's why. Now, if you want to know how to get around this, the easiest way, or the only way you can do, uh, especially when there's a peak time and there's a lot of players on, I'm not sure how many players we're talking about <laughs> in terms of, you know, be, to be too many for the server, but there are, there are a lot of people complaining that they couldn't get on. So, you know, that tells me that the servers are definitely not sufficient enough. I haven't played any of the online modes as of yet, and it's not something I'm particularly bothered about. Um, however, if you do want to get around it, the way to do it is to set your Steam to offline mode and then start up Dragon Ball Xenoverse and you'll get in just fine. You just obviously won't have any of the online features, which is to be expected, quite frankly, um, as you've gone offline. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you do want to see more content like this, then do let me know. And as I say, I'll be doing a review on Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Um, at some point on a Saturday for one of my reviews and then um, yeah we'll also be doing we'll also be showing off some of the gameplay as well so anyway guys thank you for watching I'll see you all very soon goodbye